It's that time of the week where we answer some of your common health questions. Joining me as always is News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria, the Chief of Emergency Medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center. So glad to see you today. You too. Rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. you hear a lot about it. Uh, the question that we have from a viewer is, can it lead to a heart attack? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we do know that rheumatoid arthritis absolutely does increase your risk for atherosclerosis, heart attack, and even stroke. And what we do know is that it does quicker or more quickly progress hardening of the arteries throughout the body. So why is that? Well, we did a couple studies, and what we have found out or what we think contributes to it is that there's an increase in several inflammatory markers in the body. One is C-reactive protein, and then the other is tumor necrosis factor. So those are inflammatory markers. They can certainly increase inflammation throughout the body, and what we see is that can cause rapid hardening of the arteries. The good news, though, is that if you take rheumatoid arthritis meds like TNF inhibitors, or if you're taking cholesterol-lowering medication, it actually can reduce your risk substantially. Something so, definitely though, absolutely to talk be to your aware doctor of. about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, our next question: Is it unusual for your heart to beat much faster than usual? When you're not exercising, or also maybe when you're not yeah, excited. Yeah. Sure, well, your normal heart resting heart rate is anywhere between 60 and 100. And anything above that is what we consider tachycardia. Now, there's three different types there's atrial, there is ventricular, and there's sinus. The first two, atrial and ventricular, are abnormalities in the conduction or the electrical system of the heart. The third is sinus, that's physiologic, typically secondary to something indirect. Anemia, thyroid problems, maybe dehydration, things of that nature, heart failure. Either way, any of those, if you have a resting rapid heart rate, mm -hmm. and you have, especially if you have symptoms such as dizziness, chest pain, or shortness of breath, it's absolutely something I want you to come see us in the emergency department for, because it could be a sign of a serious problem. Don't ignore it. All right, Dr. Absolutely David Saria, thanks so much. If you have a question for the doctor, as always, go to our website. You can do it right now, WPTV.com. Click on the health link. You'll scroll down on the right-hand side. You'll see the form there to ask. Ask your question. We'll, we'll get some answers for you, definitely.